A newly discovered visitor to the outer edges of our solar system has been shown to be the largest known comet ever. Thanks to the rapid response telescopes of Las Cumbres Observatory, the object which is named Comet C-2014 UN-271 Bernardinelli Bernstein, after its two discoverers, was first announced on Saturday, June 19th, 2021. We did a podcast on that. C-2014 UN-271 was found by reprocessing four years of data from the Dark Energy Survey which was carried out using the 4M Blanco Telescope at Cerro Tolo Inter-American Observatory in Chile between 2013 and 2019. At the time of the announcement, there was no indication that this was an active comet. Anticipation was immediately high among astronomers about this largest comet ever found. Now C-2014 UN-271 was inbound from the cold outer reaches of the solar system. So rapid imaging was needed to find out when would the big newfound world start to show a comet tail. <laughs> Las Cumbres Observatory was quickly able to determine whether the object had become an active comet in the three years since it was first seen by the Dark Energy Survey. Since the new object was far in the south and quite faint, we knew there would be many other telescopes that could observe it, says Dr. Tim Lister, staff scientist at Las Cumbres Observatory, or the LCO. Fortunately, LCO has a network of robotic telescopes across the world, particularly in the southern hemisphere, and we were able to quickly get images from the LCO telescopes in South Africa. And that's a boom. And there's the image. Now, the image from the... One of the LCO's one-meter telescopes hosted at the South African Astronomical Observatory came in around 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Monday night, June 22nd. And astronomers in New Zealand who are members of the LCO Outbursting Objects Key, or LOOK, project were the first to notice the new comet and the coma around the comet. Since we're a team based all around the world, it just happened that it was my afternoon while the other folks were sleeping. The first image had the comet obscured by a satellite streak, and my heart sank. But then the others were clear enough, and gosh, there it was. Definitely a beautiful little fuzzy dot. Not at all crisp like neighboring stars, said Dr. Michelle Bannister at New Zealand's University of Canterbury. Analysis of the LCO images showed a fuzzy coma around the object, indicating that it was active and was indeed a comet even though it's still out a remarkable distance of more than 1.8 billion miles away, more than double Saturn's distance from the sun. Uh, so is this the largest comet ever, or is this the largest electric comet ever? I'm going to lean on the latter. The comet is estimated to be over 100 kilometers in diameter, which is more than three times the size of the next biggest comet nucleus ever known, hale bopp which was discovered in 1995, this comet is not expected to become a naked eye bright comet. It will remain a telescopic object because its closest distance to the sun will still be beyond Saturn, which is, well, far away. And we'll get to that later in this podcast. We have some interesting interactive maps that we're going to show you here. Now, since Comet C-2014 UN-271 was discovered so far out, astronomers will have over a decade to study it. It won't reach its closest approach to the sun until January 2031. Thus, Tim Lister and the other astronomers of the Look Project will have plenty of time to use the telescopes of Las Cumbres Observatory to study C-2014 UN-271. The Look Project is continuing to observe the behavior of a large number of comets and how their activity evolves as they come closer towards the sun. And we are going to be keeping a close eye on it as well to see how much the largest comet ever found electrifies. And in fact, if this is an electric comet, the size of it, the coma could increase to epic proportions, maybe 50 times the size of Saturn. We'll see. 
It's anyone's guess, and we have plenty of time to witness what happens as it gets closer and closer to the plane of the ecliptic of our solar system. There are now a large number of surveys, such as the Zwicky Transient Facility and the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which you're looking at here, that are monitoring parts of the night sky every night. These surveys can provide alerts if one of the comets change brightness suddenly, and then we can trigger the robotic telescopes of LCO to get more detailed data and a longer look at the changing comet while the survey moves into other areas of the night sky, explains Lister. That's fascinating. And we have, think of how much technology will increase in just the eight or nine years as this comet comes to close approach in our solar system. I'm going to take you over here to JPL's small body database browser. And we're currently looking at C2014 UN 271 Bernardinelli Bernstein. And first I want to bring you in here to the inner solar system where Earth is here, Mars and Jupiter, and just show you how far out this comet is right there. Here's the plane of the ecliptic. It is currently below us. And the distance is epic. This is very touchy. Oh, man. So the distance from Earth is currently 1.8 billion miles, and its closest approach will be here in 2031. See how that works? Interesting. So it's coming from the bottom, and it has a huge elliptical orbit. Look how far out Neptune is. So it's going to be way out in the solar system here. See where that's coming through right there? Between Saturn and Uranus, closer to Saturn, but still huge distances away. In fact, the distance from Saturn is almost as big as the entire inner solar system. So that's just some of the scale. Now we have some other uh, data here to get you up to speed. And I'll leave you links. This is to the, the Sky Live. And this is all the data they currently have on Comet C-2014 UN-271 Bernardinelli Bernstein. The right ascension, the declination, the constellation, but I, uh, in the current position. It also has uh, predictive maps on, let's say, the distance from Earth here and 2023, 20, 24, 25, 26. You see it getting closer and closer to Earth. And it also has um, some other fascinating facts here like the estimated magnitude, the coma, current coma diameter here, the magnitude and brightness is going to increase through time as it gets closer. But I want to bring you down here to some amazing facts that change daily as the trajectory and information get clearer and clearer. The orbital period for this comet currently listed is 9 million years. <laughs> That's a lot of years. 9,071,018.34 years is one orbital period. So that got me thinking. I was thinking, what happened 9 million years ago? Well, the first platypuses. Wow, I wonder what that. I wonder if the comet had something to do with that. And also, Gigantopithecus, the largest hominid ever, first arose 9 million years ago, only to become extinct a few hundred thousand years ago. So we got Gigantopithecus and the platypus all on the day of the comet. <laughs> Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a world where the largest comet is three times bigger than the last one, and it's far away. Well, and maybe electric. And that's boo to knowledge. Leave your questions below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Thanks for watching. Oh, click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge and be safe. Nanny, nanny, nanny.